when people respond to items, our hope is that their observed scores are determined mostly by their true score on the measured property, the score we would obtain if we had a perfectly valid and reliable instrument. Of course, no instrument is perfectly valid or reliable. There's always some degree of random and systematic error. A special type of systematic error occurs when respondents show a systematic bias in their responses to items. These biases are referred to as response sets or response styles. I'll first discuss the most common response styles or biases that occur in self-report measurement. These are acquiescence, social desirability, extreme response styles, and bias towards the middle. Acquiescence refers to the tendency to agree with all statements, regardless of their content. An easy way to spot this bias is to include some negatively phrased items. Consider my cat fondness questionnaire. Items 2 and 3 are negatively worded. Someone who agrees with statements 1, 4, and 5, but also with statements 2 and 3, isn't answering consistently. Social desirability causes a biased pattern that's a little harder to detect. A social desirability bias affects the responses of people who tend to present themselves more favorably or in more socially acceptable ways. A social desirability bias can occur if a scale measures a property that's considered socially sensitive or measures a property that's relevant to someone's self-image. It's possible to detect a social desirability bias by adding social desirability items, such as, I've never stolen anything in my life, or I've never lied to anyone. The idea is that everyone has stolen something or lied at least once in their lives, if only as a child stealing from or lying to their peers. If people strongly agree with these items, there's a fair chance that their responses to other questions are biased towards responses that are more socially acceptable. An extreme response style is much harder to detect. This bias can occur, for example, when respondents don't want to think about exactly how strongly they agree or disagree with an item. They'll just choose the most extreme option. So unlike the acquiescence bias, participants' responses are consistent just more extreme than their true value. Bias towards the middle is highly similar to an extreme response style. Only the tendency here is to choose a less extreme response option. For example, some respondents might never use the most extreme response options because they want to seem nuanced. The ultimate version of bias to the middle occurs when there's an uneven number of response options and a respondent always chooses the middle option. This response pattern can be detected by including some extra, extremely strong items, such as cats are purely evil creatures. Cat lovers will strongly disagree, but even people who like cats just a little should show some disagreement with this statement. If they respond with a middle category to all items, including these extremely worded items, their response pattern is inconsistent. Bias is due to the mere act of responding to a test or questionnaire can also occur when a rater observes and rates behavior of others. There are many rater biases. I'll just discuss the halo effect and generosity and severity errors here. The halo effect occurs when a positive or negative rating on one dimension spills over to other dimensions of behavior that are rated or evaluated. A well-known example is that more attractive people are generally rated as more intelligent or better at their job. A generosity error or leniency effect occurs when the rater is overly positive or kind in their ratings. The opposite, a systematic bias towards very strict or negative rating, is referred to as a severity error. It can be hard to detect, let alone avoid, halo effects in generosity or severity errors. One approach is to use several raters that are trained to use clearly defined coding schemes. Checking the inner rater reliability and average ratings for each rater can help to detect any systematic bias between raters. But of course, it's very hard to detect bias that's shared by all raters.